This video is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, before you watch this video, I highly recommend watching my newest uh, YouTube comment fails that uh, should have been uploaded right before this. Now, I'm going to kind of do something for a very illogical poor reason, but I'm going to do it anyway, kind of because I can. I'm going to stop playing this hack, and this is nothing against the creator or creators of the hack, unless one of the creators is the guy who kind of really annoyed me with his well-worded moronic message he sent me. But, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that comment video. Anyway, I'm sorry I do not remember the guy who submitted this or his name. I mean, I could go to uh, the title screen, but his I think his YouTube name might be different. Let's just fast forward that. Teal Game Master and Deadpool Rocks. Those two. I don't know if one of them is that guy, but if you are the cool author, then this is for you. If, uh, you know, the one guy is the guy who annoyed me. Anyway, you get the drift. But, uh... I'm basically stopping this hack because of that one comment I got, because I'd rather not hurt that guy's feelings anymore, who apparently was a playtester of the hack or had some hand in doing the hack, who sent me that that message that was actually, in my opinion, kind of dumb. But you know what? You might think I'm a, a dumb person and I have dumb opinions. That's fine. Whatever. That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to stop playing this hack so I don't hurt that guy's feelings anymore, because apparently I already have at least enough for him to send me a message. But anyway, authors or author, this is to you. I'm going to talk about your hack. And uh, this is basically going to be an unbiased opinion of your hack. Not counting the comment from the one guy. So, if you want to watch me play Mario, this is not going to be the video. Because I'm not going to play anything. If you want to hear me talk and rant, then this is probably the video. Now moving on to the guy who, or guys, who made this hack. Your hack was not bad. I can see that you tried really hard. Because your overworld, while it kind of looks like it has some similarities to the to the first one, that that's maybe just me. You edited your overworld, which is cool. You've edited a decent amount of stuff. Your hack is not bad. It lacks some creativity. So, I mean, and by that I'm saying you left portions of the original game in, which generally is not the best thing to do in my opinion. But I can tell you tried hard. I can tell you went out and tried to learn stuff. You tried to make your hack as good as possible. And I appreciate that. Because I have received way worse hacks than this one. This one is not bad in my opinion. It keeps some fragments of levels in it from the original game. Which, you know, is kind of like, oh, well, I, this was in the original game. But, I mean, some of your... I mean, in the earlier, in the earlier level, earlier, earlier levels, it was a little bit more creative because it, there were only little short spots where it would be at. And I guess I am gonna kind of play Mario during this, but that's fine. Also, your levels are kind of flat, which may or may not be a bad thing. I'm just, I might just be nitpicking. But overall, your hack was not bad. I can tell you tried, or you guys tried. I can tell you wanted to do a good job and didn't just slap it together in a in a matter of minutes, or at least it appears that way. If you did slap it together in a matter of minutes, then you did you did a good job masking it as you tried. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say what I really think, and I'm going to say you guys probably really tried to make this a good hack. the The only major problem that I have is that there are parts of the original game in it, and that doesn't make this hack terrible, unless it was like, oh, you only edited in two extra turtles in the entire level. Then it would be kind of, you know, you played around with it and then submitted it, but there are differences in this hack when compared to the original. Notable differences, except for this ghost house. There really wasn't much there. My suggestion to you or you guys is to first work on the first world and make that completely different from the original first world. Get rid of all the cookie cutter stuff, any little tiny fragment that you kept in, get rid of it and just work on making the first world as creative as possible. Because an awesome first world beats out an average full length hack in my opinion. Because if you're using, you know, original 
fragments just to extend your game, the person's gonna get a little bored because, you know, I've already done this in the original game. You didn't change much, I'm just hopping on an extra turtle. If you completely change the first world and put all of your, I don't, I don't wanna say all of it, but a lot of creative thought into making everything completely different, then you can go, wow, we have this completely different first world, there's nothing original from it, or original in it, I should say. And uh, we can move on from here. We can go to the second world and just keep doing that over and over. Now, of course, you you can and probably will have to reuse ideas that you've had in the first few worlds because even some of the best hacks I've played, I think Brutal Mario, 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 or at least Luigi's Adventure did that. It started to get a little repetitive at the end, but it was still a good hack, just like this is. It's good. It's above average. It's not the greatest ever, but it's actually really hard and you'd have to put a lot of time in that. A lot. Some of the greatest hacks I've played would probably be uh, Super Mario Bros. 3X, which I just finished playing, Marth's hack, which was Super Mario Bros. Extra, or Super Mario World Extra, the Redux version, and uh, Brutal Mario. Now a lot of people have submitted hacks that were bad, and I've given them pretty harsh criticism, I guess. And they didn't send me a message, you know, crying or complaining to me. They go, well, he didn't like it. I'm going to either keep watching him and stop making hacks, or I'm going to try again, take his advice, and redo it. And I know a few people have sent me messages. If you gave me a hack that I didn't like and you made it, and this goes to anyone, and I think if Noobs Pure is watching, I think I saw his message but didn't respond to it because I've been getting a lot of messages lately. If you have a hack that I didn't like or I abandoned, feel free to redo it and send it back to me. Just because I abandon your hack doesn't mean you can't redo it, redesign it, and send it back. That I'm not that big of a douche. I may, I may come off as that big of a douche to some people, but I'm really not. I'm not as arrogant and ignorant and foul mouth as I am in real life as I am on the internet. And of course that kind of goes with, you know, I'm anonymous on the internet and I'm going to be as big of a dick as I can, but I'm not, as, I'm not trying to be as big of a dick. And this is what this video pretty much is, saying that I'm stopping the hack because of that one guy, but your hack did a lot of good things that I liked, but I didn't talk about them because I talk about what I like in the end. Because I think it would be kind of boring if I went through an entire hack and all sing song, and I was like, oh, this is cool, this is fun, this is great, this is awesome. No, I'm going to go, well, you kept this original part in, how about you fix that? And it's kind of like a douche, douchey way of doing it. I kind of recognize that, but I do play up hacks at the end. Like, oh man, this hack did this good, and this was good, and, you know, it did that good, but there was a few minor complaints, like this and this. That's kind of the end segment, which is what I'm doing now, in essence. So, if you're going to take anything from this video, author guy, or anyone else, take it that just because I or someone else may complain about something doesn't mean it's completely terrible and bottom of the pile like that one guy apparently did he hasn't I guess I don't know he might not have watched my other stuff and he doesn't know how I operate which is a little bit ignorant but I can understand how that would happen if someone just came into the game late and then just you know labels someone is a giant dick and I hate everything and I don't I'm not a nihilist, like that guy said. I don't think life is meaningless or life has no purpose. I do not understand that big of a picture because almost no one can. Because that involves uh, a process of thinking that we do not have. We do not know why we're here. We don't know if anything put us here or we climbed out of the primordial ooze or what the fuck happened. I just know that I'm here playing these damn ROM hacks every day trying to entertain some people and I get a message that says I should retire because I said you need to stop putting original fragments of levels in. I do not agree. But anyway, author guy or guys or gal, gals, whatever, whatever the hell you two are, one, whatever, 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 okay. Anyway, you did a lot of good things like I already talked about. If you want to take my advice, cool. You don't have to, because I'm not right about everything. I'm wrong about a lot of shit. It's called being human. It's called being fallible. I make mistakes. I am not perfect. The end. If you want to take my advice? Sure. If you want to take other people's advice, who may be a little more soft on you, because you did a pretty good job, and they might, they might ignore the issues of the hack, 
that's cool. I don't. You can do whatever you want. But I'm telling you that your hack was not bad by any means. You have a lot of potential, is what I'm trying to say. And Marth's first hack attempt, it's on my channel. I didn't like it very much, and I complained. Well, I liked it, but I complained a lot about it. And he came back with the best Redux I've ever seen. I don't know if he just took my opinions, or he took other people's opinions. He probably took a pot of opinions, like a pool. He came back with the best hack I've ever played. It beats everything that I've played. It was short-ish, I think. But, I mean, it's probably tied with Brutal Mario, or a little bit better. He took constructive criticism. He didn't get pissed and send me a message like, Oh, you're a douchebag. He went to the drawing board. He redid it. And sent me the best thing I've ever played regarding the Mario hacks. And I'm sure you can do this too, author guy. So don't take it as a personal insult. If you have a redux that you want to make, I'll play it eventually. But right now, I'm going to move on to something else. If you don't know what I'm talking about, again, please go watch that comments video.